with this question, it will carry on onto the next slide. So we've got uh, these two as well, and then these, and then up to number seven. Okay, so I've done my best to try put the annexure here. I know that some of the words won't be clear, but if there's anything that's important, I will highlight it for us. Okay, so it says that the top coffee producing countries around the world. Do you guys love coffee, by the way? I love coffee. Um, but I actually stopped drinking normal coffee a while back, about maybe six, no, three, four months ago. Um, and I'm now just doing decaf. I just wanted to see if it made me feel any different. So far, I feel pretty normal. Um, I just love coffee. Coffee is, oh man, when I go traveling or when I'm anywhere, I just love finding a lovely coffee shop. Or the best thing is, um, that happened to me was, about uh, in 2015, okay? So in 2015, I just graduated from university and I had to go to America for a certain reason and I specifically went to Boston University. I'm not Boston University, just Boston, um, which, is, which is in America. And um, I actually went to the campus of MIT. I just wanted to have a look at it anyways. So it was really cold at that time of the year and I was walking the streets. I was completely alone. Whenever I go travel, I've usually always been alone. I love it. Solo traveler. And I was, as I said, in Boston, very warmly dressed because it was really cold outside, um, like typical kind of snowy weather. And in Boston, they had this beautiful library. Not a library, it was a bookshop. But in this bookshop, um, you can just imagine it's got like this like inside the bookshop, there was a fireplace going, soft, beautiful music playing, um, coffee shop in the bookshop, and the most incredible atmosphere. People were eating, you could smell the food. And I'll never forget that. Just like I, I went and sat on the carpeted floor and just took out some books and I just started reading in the coffee shop on the floor or in the bookstore slash coffee shop on the floor and I think I spent hours there when I came outside the, when I walked outside it was dark and I had to walk super far to get home but these are the little memories that I'll never forget so coffee bookstore fireplace excellent I just absolutely loved it okay so that probably wasn't that was probably very random, right? And I, so let's just actually carry on with this question. So it says the top coffee producing countries around the world produce coffee for half a trillion cups of um, coffee per year. Annexure B, which is this over here, shows the top coffee producing countries and how many 60 kilogram bags of coffee they produced in 2020. The first question for only two marks, determine the range of the top coffee producing countries from around the world, including the rest of the world. So that's this one over here. So remember range in, when we're looking at statistics or data, it's your highest minus your lowest. So we need to find the highest, which is gonna be Brazil. And then the lowest is gonna be the smallest little part, which would probably be Peru. It looks like Peru, yes. So we're gonna say 63.4, um, million minus 3.8 million and that'll give us 59.6 and then we can just say million. This question says determine the median of the top coffee producing countries in the world. Okay, so we're going to look at all these different countries and we're going to arrange them from smallest to largest. We're not going to look at this one because that's not a country, that's just rest of world. So don't do that one. So we, we're going to arrange from smallest to largest because that's how we do median. So we're going to do Peru because that's the smallest. Then the next smallest is Mexico. And then um, I think it is Uganda, then India. So we're going to go 5.6, 5.7. Then who are we next? Honduras and then Ethiopia. Yeah. And then Indonesia, and then Colombia, 14.3, and then Vietnam, is that it? And then lastly, we have Brazil. Wow, Brazil dominates the coffee market, 63.4. Now, the way that we find median is you just go from you circle, so you're trying to find somewhere in the middle, okay? But a nice way to do it is you just circle from the front and the back, then you go from the front, then the back, from the front to the back, front 
back. Now, sometimes you're gonna end up with only one number in the middle, then it's very easy. But when you end up with two numbers like this, then all you do is you just add them together and then divide that answer by two. And that'll give you 6.7 million. So say here, millions. Let's go right over there, 6.7 million. The next question says, determine the interquartile range. Now they say include the rest of the world. Okay, so 18.4 now needs to be included. So that would be over there, 18.4. And then what was that other number, 29? And then 63.4 for Brazil. Okay, so when we now, um, to go and find the interquartile range, we need to go and find Q3, and we need to go and find Q1. So what I like to do is first go find Q2. Q2 is your median. Now remember, it won't be the same median that we have here, because we've now added the 18.4. So to find the median, I always like to go from front to back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, boom, it's one number in the middle. So that number there, that is called Q2 or median. Now, to find Q1, you're just gonna look at these six numbers, or is it six numbers? No, it's five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna find the middle of those five numbers. So the middle of those five numbers is gonna be this one over here, so that's gonna be Q1. Now to find Q3, you're gonna look at the middle of these five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and that would be this number over here. That number is exactly in the middle, so that would be Q3. So then when you go find IQR, which is your interquartile range, you say Q3 minus Q2, and so that would be 18.4 minus 5.6, and that'll give us 12.8 million. This question says, which two countries represent the bottom 25% of the top coffee producing countries from around the world? So it just said, which two countries represent the bottom? So we're just gonna take the two smallest ones. The two smallest ones would be Peru and Mexico. So um, Peru and Mexico, and explain what this means. Well, what it means is that if you look at all of these different countries, they are in the lowest 25%. So these two countries are the lowest coffee producing countries. Then this question says, what type of graph is used to show the top, okay, what type of graph? This is a pie chart. So for 3.15, we can say pie chart. Let me write that a bit better. Okay, this question, 3.1.6 says, show with calculations for four marks that the top five coffee producing countries produce an average of at least 74% of the world's coffee. Okay, so what we'll have to go and do is the top five would be definitely Vietnam, Brazil. We're not gonna look at that. Well, we are, we are gonna include this one as part of the total, but we can't include that as part of the top five because that's a whole lot of countries in one. Uh, definitely Colombia. Indonesia, now who's the next largest? I think it is Ethiopia. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So those are the five largest uh, coffee producing countries in the world. So if we go um, add their numbers together, 14.3 plus 29 plus 7.3 plus 63.4 plus 12. If we add that together, that'll give 126. Now, to work that out as a percentage, we'd need to go see what is the total of all of this. So we're gonna go add all those numbers together. So we've already added the first five, so I'm not gonna add them again. I'm just gonna say 126 plus, then I'm gonna do Peru, India, Mexico, Honduras, Uganda, and then rest of world. 
just so we can see what is the total uh, coffee that is produced by all the countries in the world. And that'll give us 169.6. So let's say you wrote a mathematics test out of 169.6 and you got 126, then to work out your percentage, you would do it like that. And if we do that, we get 74.29%. Now the question said, show with calculations that the top five coffee producing countries produce an average of at least 74. Yep, they are correct because we got a little bit more than 74, so it's perfect. This question says, determine the probability of selecting a country from the top coffee producing countries from around the world excluding the rest of the world, okay, so we're not gonna use this one, that produced more than 20 million bags of coffee. Write down your final answer as a percentage. Okay, so what they're trying to say is that out of all of these countries, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, out of those 10, um, determine the probability of selecting a country that produces more than 20 million, okay? So which ones are more than 20 million? Well, it's only Brazil and Vietnam. So that's two out of 20. And so that will give you, and it said write your answer as a percentage. Okay, so we'll say times by 100. And that would eventually give us 20%.